Is the lighting good for you guys? Cause it's bright for me, but I mean, hey, if you're happy, I'm happy, right? This is the face of a happy person. I look like a hot mess, don't I? Well, let's fix that. Hello everyone, before I forget to say hello to you guys. How are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I am trying out a new foundation and concealer today. I am excited as I am to test out new products and to bring y'all along with me so we can all see how they work together. I'm nervous because this is the lightest shade and I think it's gonna be dark on me. But you know what? The good thing about testing these new products is a lot of the time I'm just going to my mom's house to hang out and she loves me regardless of whether my foundation is the correct shade or not. So this is the new Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 foundation. It's in a compact obviously and it's got the foundation there and then it's got the concealer there and the concealer is a lighter shade so it's supposed to be like a brightening concealer. Before I butcher any claims that Revlon never even made about this product, let's hop on over to their website and read about what this is supposed to do for us. Like I said, this is the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. This comes in 12 of different colors and they do thankfully have a very very dark color for people with deeper skin tones which is great but the skip is huge between the darkest color and the color right underneath that so that is unfortunate. Expertly matched shades of makeup and concealer for a flawless long wearing look that's perfect for you. It's gonna be smooth, blendable, and buildable and have a demi matte finish. The compact includes a unique applicator for precise application and a mirror for touch-ups on the go. I don't know why I would need to do touch-ups on the go when this apparently lasts all day, but okay, Revlon. And this is expensive. Depending on where you get it, it looks like it's anywhere from $12.79 to $15.99. I got mine at Walgreens, so it was $15.99. So uh, you know I'm gonna be returning this if it doesn't work out. That's a lot of money for a freaking drugstore product. I just, mm, so sad. How much comes in this? I don't know how much product would usually come in a creamy foundation product like this, but this only has 0.38 ounces of foundation in it. Even if you combine the amount of concealer that's in this, which is 0.04 ounces, you're only getting 0.42 ounces of product altogether. And normally, you know, if you buy a liquid foundation, you get an ounce of product. So yeah, I guess we'll see. I mean, I'll try using the applicator that they put in here. I've also got my Real Techniques damp blending sponge and also my Real Techniques expert face brush just in case I need some help. Let's crack on into this. So here you go, here's the compact. Open it up. It looks like you're only getting like this kind of a moon of foundation, but actually it's a full circle. So it's not gonna be too awkward to try and get in there. Ew, there's like oil around the... Ooh, there's like a lot of oil. doesn't smell like anything. And you do get a nice big mirror. You wanna say hello to yourself? Where are you? There you are, hi. And then they give you like this really flat. I don't know if I should find this as funny as I do, but it's, I mean, it's a sponge, you guys. Like, thankfully it's not a stinky sponge. I feel like a lot of sponges that are included in these kind of compacts are like ultra stanky. So before I get too far ahead of myself here, I already washed and moisturized my face as per usual and now I'm just gonna go in and put a primer on my skin just to really give the foundation the best chance it can have. As always, I will have products listed down below if you're curious as to other things that are on my body or on my face. And I just zoomed in here just so you could really see everything that's on my face right now. I've just got some healing bits because uh, you know what time of the month it is, yay! Will it cover some crusty bits? Will it cover some redness? Will it cover everything? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Yes, uh, foundation first. I just wanna feel it. I'm scared. Ugh, it's so oily, but like really creamy. Maybe this color will work. Now, do I just like rub this in here? Oh, oh. I don't know, something about that just, Seems wrong, but... Oh, good. Maybe this color will work for me. 
don't like this sponge. It's too flat, you guys. It's too flat. I mean, I like how it's like triangular. And it can really get into your nose. Well, not like up your nose, but you know, into the nose folds. I don't like it, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna rub this. My hands are clean. I know someone's gonna say something about that, but don't worry, I am not contaminating the makeup by doing this because my hands are clean. Everything will be okay. I'm gonna try a brush just because I feel like it. Alright, so not bad. I mean, there's what it looks like on half of my face with it on, and obviously with it not on. I'm glad. I think the color works. Yay for that. I guess I will go ahead and put this on the other side of my face. I'm gonna try using my damp Real Technique sponge for this side, just to, you know, for comparison purposes. Why the heck not? There it is on all of my face. I needed to go in with the brush, the sponge. I feel like it doesn't blend out where you dab the foundation, so I really felt like the brush did a much, much better job. Get you zoomed in so you can see what this looks like so far. I mean, I think it gave like a light to medium coverage upon first application, so I guess I will go in and see how it does with two coats here. I don't know where else to put that. Oh no, there, I'll put it there. <laughs> oh, decisions. And there it is with two coats in some places. I would definitely say that this is buildable. One thing to be careful of, this dries down really quickly. I think that's one reason why the sponge doesn't work so well, because it like dries and then trying to blend it out is a bit harder. That being said, I think it looks really good so far. It feels like I have nothing on my face, very lightweight. I'm excited to smear this concealer on now. So please excuse my dry flaky nose. I know, I know. It's winter. I. <laughs> And yes, I exfoliate my skin every day. Okay, the concealer feels a lot denser than the foundation, a lot less oily. I mean, it did a little bit. Not the best concealer, not the worst. I'm gonna try and put a little more on, see if we can build this up like the foundation. I don't know, does that look better? It's so bright, you guys, I can hardly see. Okay, so, oh, thank you for getting brighter, son, as I say that. <laughs> I can't see. Let's do this quickly. All right, so I had to close the blinds. That was actually painful. There you go. It's definitely a creasy concealer, but I don't know. I think the foundation looks okay overall, right? Pretty lightweight looking and not crazy heavy looking. And there it is from far away. So yay for a color match. I'm glad that actually ended up working out all right. It is currently just about quarter to two in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup here and I will be back to check in with you guys in just a second here on YouTube land. Ready, ding, all right you guys. Oh, this lipstick color though. Wow. So it's actually been quite a while now. I mean, it's 3.15 if you can see that there. I just, I've been filming some other stuff. I'm doing a review of the matte liquid lipstick today and I wanted to film an eyeshadow application type thing for a review that I'm gonna be doing soon. So I've just been doing all of that. So it really has been like an hour and a half here, but let's take a look at the foundation.
I mean, it looks like foundation. It's doing good so far. I did go ahead and put a translucent powder just on my forehead and my nose and underneath my eyes, although that did not help to set it. This concealer is ultra creasy. Oh well. <laughs> but I mean, most concealers crease on me. Actually, all of them. Yeah. It's one of those ones where you like blend out the creases and then they come back and then you blend them out and they come back. So kind of annoying, but overall, I mean, I think the foundation looks okay. It doesn't look like anything stellar, I don't think, but it doesn't look bad. And like I said earlier, negate the dry spots on my nose because nothing would look good on that, but that's really it for now for me as always i will be taking you guys along with me for my day we shall see how this foundation does will it last all day is it sweat proof and oil proof and all of those things it said it was we shall see i will just check in with you guys whenever i feel like i need to check in with you next if i need to blot my face or whatever the case may be so i will just see you all very soon here on youtube land bye <laughs>